Good afternoon, everyone. So it's Wednesday and we've now made it a little over halfway through this work week, which means we are on the downhill slide finally. So my name is Christy. This is Putting on the Glitz. So we'll say this is the latest episode of Putting on the Glitz because we, we now have episodes, of course. This is going to be a long running series, right? So I started this business in June of 2020 during the pandemic when I was bored and had nothing else to do and wanted to work from home. And so this was a good option for me. I had never had a job where I was on camera before or was in front of a lot of people all the time. So it was a little nerve wracking for me. <laughs> but now I'm happy to say a year later, we've gotten pretty used to it. And it's a little bit easier to do than it used to be. And I've gotten so I really like the jewelry. And if you buy for a while, you'll kind of find your taste evolving a little bit. So when I first started, I wore really small things. In fact, I remember asking um, my paparazzi consultant that I was buying from at the time to find me little things, right? Little tiny things. Hi, Marjorie. Hi, Helen. Hi, Kim. Um, and paparazzi does make some of those. There, there's not a lot of them, but they do make some. So I started with buying the teeniest, tiniest pieces. And um, over this year, I've tried some new stuff and found some other things that I like. So I guess your taste can evolve with time and with exposure to different things. So don't be afraid, afraid to try something a little new. With Zoom, um, it helps to have larger things because it's really hard to see on camera. They're like seeing you at a distance. So larger things obviously are gonna show up better also higher contrast so like silver with black or a bright color with a darker color maybe white um, so just aim for a high contrast between your jewelry and your clothing and it will show up better online so let's see everybody who's in here already and has said hi you're in the drawing already if anybody else comes in Go ahead and say hi to me or just drop a little emoji in the comments so that we know you're here. We'll enter you into that drawing for a free piece of jewelry. We're going to do all necklaces today. So I've got short necklaces and long necklaces. Hi, Esley. Good to see you. Mostly short necklaces because I know that's what a lot of you like. Um, I do have some longer ones in here for you, Kim. So don't be afraid. We've got you covered too. And tomorrow at one o'clock, we'll have the bracelet and ring show. So if you're interested in bracelets and rings, that's the time to come in there. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Hi, Aunt Dora, good to see you. This one, I just have one of left. This is in antique copper. It's called Progressively Vogue. These are hammered and rippled. Um, we're going to call them abstract circles because they're not quite perfect. Larger one right here in the center anchoring this piece and then some medium and small sized ones on the side. It's on that cord type chain, hi mom, of antique copper as well. The smaller circles are on the earrings on a fish hook back. So this is the length, about three quarters of an inch below that collar. Hi, Violet. Instagram is blurry. Hmm. It is not on my side. Maybe your internet, if it's going to continue to be blurry, you may want to switch to either Facebook or YouTube. Hi, Ruth. I fixed your necklace, by the way. I'll bring it back to you. So it's about three quarters of an inch below that collar with the two inch extension. You can bring it down here. It's going to sit right above that bust. So this one is going to be number 101 for tonight. I'll hold up the card in just a second. Let me see if I can show you this necklace a little bit better. Number 101, just have one of these progressively Vogue in copper having to use the little numbers because I still can't find some of the big numbers. I think the cat ate them. Sounds reasonable, right? Like the dog ate my homework, the cat ate my numbers. 
And he's a kitten, so he eats everything. He's still teething. All right, this one is in an olive green. In fact, almost the exact color of Spanish olives. It's called a bowl house. A bowl house, because it kind of looks like the bull's horns up here. Hi, Jennifer. This one has olive green beads pressed into a silver bar. I have no idea what to call this shape right here in the middle. So we're just going to go with that. These others are ovals. Hi, Carol. The earrings are the silver tassels on a fish hook back. Just have one of these as well. This one's about an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you can bring it down here. So it's going to lay just above this bust. It's going to take up about that much room. So about there. So this one's called a bowl house in green and it is number 102. This one is also green, but it's a lighter green. And I'm, I don't remember what the official no name of this one is. Um, my color chart's calling it Granny Smith, and that's pretty close to what the skin of a Granny Smith apple looks like. So these are faceted green beads in oval and in round, pressed into a silver setting. We also have white rhinestones on these rings and in these circles right here. So those are all white rhinestones pressed into there. I have two of this one available. The earrings are green faceted beads on a fish hook back. This one is about an inch and a quarter from that collar. Collar sitting up here at the collarbone, so you have a point of reference. With the two inch extension, you can bring it down here. It's going to sit right above the bust. So if you use all the extension, that's where it will sit, or you can have it in between there. So this is extra eloquent in green and it is number 103. Number 104. This one is flirtatiously flashy in blue. So this is that deep Caribbean blue uh, they're actually calling it Atlantic on my color chart because it's a very dark, deep Caribbean blue. This is a faceted rhinestone. It's a thick heart. So you can see the, the thickness of this. It has a silver frame, hollow back, a larger gauge chain on this one, which adds a little shine to it. The earrings are the blue rhinestones to match the heart on a fish hook back. I have two of this one remaining. Let's turn around there. This one is about an inch and a half, maybe an inch and three quarters. Hi, Daisy, below that collar. So it's right in the middle of the chest with the two inch extension that's gonna come down here. It's gonna sit right on the bust. Yeah, it is kind of like the rose from Titanic, although hers was a little bit more royal blue, a little less of the um, touch of green like this Caribbean blue has. This is almost like a teal. It's flirtatiously flashy. In blue, we have two of these. And it's number 104. Yes, it does remind me of that Heart of the Ocean necklace. It's missing a few rhinestones, but... I do own a necklace like that. It's not a paparazzi necklace. All right. This one is the pack leader in red. So this is a deep red, like a blood red, with gold frame. So we have gold colored... We're going to call them triangle pieces, although they look like a house with a steep roof to me. Doesn't that look like a house shape? 
and our little blood bread triangular beads. Nice color combination. The earrings are the gold tassels on a fish hook back. Just have one of these left. This one is about an inch and a quarter below that collar. You can see how nicely it shows up against her white top. This would also be good against a black top. With the two inch extension, you could bring it down here to sit at the top of the bust. So it's gonna cover this area right here, which is what I call prime real estate. Because that's usually when people meet you, that's where their eyes go. I know it's not right, but that's the way it is. This is the pack leader in red. Hi, Robin. Good to see you again. The pack leader in red, and it's number 105. All right, so now it's time to play Family Feud. So everybody gets some more chances to win a free piece of jewelry at the end of the show. So I am going to take answer number, let's take answer number five on this one. One, two, three, four, five. These are not numbered, so I have to number them. Out of six answers, so we have answer number five out of six. Name something you might see a commercial for during a baseball game. 105 to Helen, please. Something you might see a commercial for during a baseball game. A deodorant. <laughs> they probably need some. That was not on the list. <laughs> uh, bat, well, baseball equipment was number two. Beer was actually number six. You'd think it would be higher up than that, right? Chips and hot dogs were actually not on there, or peanuts. No food. What's up with that? That's what we see during the Super Bowl, right? Foam? That one wasn't on there. Gum? Not gum. Cars was number one. Cars or trucks. Shaving lotion or cologne? Oh, that's a good guess, but no. Movies was not on there. Can you tell we don't watch baseball games? <laughs> Men's products, that would be a good guess. But that's not on there either. Something where they have to give you a long list. Where the lawyer, you know, reads off all the list at the end. Occasions, that would be a good one. They should be advertising to the women if they knew what they were doing because men are watching the game, but the women are watching the commercials. Medicine. You've got it, Helen. Medication of some sort. The only other one that was on there was baseball games or tickets. So I guess they're advertising their next game. So there are our answers. Medication. Don't you love that long list of side effects they give you? may cause and it lists like everything from a runny nose to death <laughs> and then you wonder if you really want to take this medication or if you just want to risk dying from whatever you have it's always a choice all right this one is in a frosted white it's called best possible taste best possible taste so these are frosted Crystal cut beads in white. They're separated by polished silver spacers. They have these cute little polished silver caps at the top. This is a four strand necklace. The earrings are little stacks of those same frosted white beads with the silver polished spacers. And they're on a fish hook back. I have two of these remaining. Okay, let's get the layers right. This is always a challenge. It's easier when you put it on yourself, but when you're dropping it over the head of, or headless mannequin, tends to interrupt our layers. So this one's about half an inch below that collar. 
So a half an inch below your collarbones. That's about where mine's sitting today. With the two inch extension, you could bring it down to mid chest, which is gonna make it lay between mid chest and the top of the bust. So this one, it's a little bit easier to see against my skin actually. See those frosted beads, milky white beads. Best possible taste in white. Two of these available and it's number 106. Caitlin's over here wrapped up in a blanket. Can you believe this? It is 90 degrees. And our house thermostat is set at 75. 75. So you know it's not that cool in here. I still have a fan going. And I still get warm. And she's sitting over here in a blanket. I have to get her iron checked or something. All right, this is my last one of this necklace. This is called Stellar Stardom. So we have a gold chain dripping with these cute little gold stars. So if you didn't get your gold stars in school, you can get them all now, all at once. Some solid stars and some outline stars in different lengths and sizes. Hi, Shannon, hanging from that chain. And the earrings are small solid stars on a fish hook back. This one is also about half an inch below that collar with the two inch extension. You'll be able to bring it down about mid chest. It's not a super long necklace. So it's just gonna sit right in here. A little strip across the middle of the chest. So this one, Stellar Stardom in gold. And this is my last one of these. It is number 107. I told you we'd have chokers today. So let me pull out my two silver chokers. I also have a gold version of one of them. This one is called Insta Connection in silver. So if this is a series of small silver rings linked together, <laughs> I'd love to be freezing at 79. Maybe I need to go live in Africa for a while. The earrings are a stack of those little small silver rings as well. With our chokers, they do include an extra long extension in case you'd like to wear this as a short necklace instead. So instead of the normal two inches, this is probably three to three and a half. Let me see if I can get this around Linda's neck. Sometimes it doesn't work all that well on the mannequin. This one's doing okay. So you can see it's sitting right around her neck as a choker. With that extension, you're gonna be able to bring it down below the collar. So it's gonna come down about here, about an inch below this collar. So if you'd rather have it as a short necklace, it's easy to adjust. I have three of these available. This is Insta Connection in silver. And it is number 108. This next one is the one that I do also have in gold. I just couldn't find it hanging up to bring it over here. And then I forgot about it and forgot to look. Robin would like one of 108. They did it. Mom would like one of 108. So there's one left out there. This one is called Don't Get Bent Out of Shape in Silver. I do also have this in the yellow gold. These are brushed metal shapes, the squares set on point, as well as little circles. And that solid metal, this is on a cord type chain. Carol would like the last one. So number 108 is sold out. The earrings are the little circle, circular discs with the brushed metal on a fish hook back. This one sits just a little bit lower on Linda. So you can see it's kind of right above, along the top of that collar. It's not quite as short, but it does still have the extra extension. 
So you could bring that down here. That's about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half below that collar. So I also have three of this one and I have two in gold. So three in silver, two in gold. Don't get bent out of shape. Helen would like 109 in gold. This is 109. Hi, Lisa. Good to see you. Finally got mostly done with my paperwork, so I might be able to call you. <laughs> All right, this one is called Fairy Lights. Fairy Lights in green. This is a light green moonstone. Round moonstone. It does have the little line. So you can see the little line that makes it a cat's eye. It's in a teardrop-shaped silver frame on a delicate chain. The earrings are little round green moonstones as well. I have two of this one remaining. I'm gonna knock Linda over today. Just, I can feel it coming. This one is about half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you'll be able to bring it down right about here. So it's gonna hang right along mid chest to the top of the bust. So again, this is Fairy Lights in green. Lisa would like one of these, Caitlin. You've got it, Lisa, so I've got one more of these, 110. Okay, so now it's time to play Family Feud again, which is the fun part, right? We all like to play games. Let's see what we have next. Hi, Becky. Good to see you. <laughs> Robin would like 110 as well. So that one is sold out. We're going to take answer number one, two, three, four. I hate it when they make me count these. Number six out of eight. Number six out of eight on this one. There's a lot of popular answers on here. If your dog ran away, name something you'd be surprised he took with him. If your dog ran away, name something you'd be surprised he took with him. We're going to take answer number six out of eight. Put a little gnat in here. They belong outside. His leash was number two. The keys, <laughs> that was not on there. <laughs> the cat was number one. His bowl was number three. His bed, mom got it first, his bed. Ooh, you were right behind her, Kimberly. You were close. His bone was number four. Shoes was number five. Toys was number seven. So let's see, did we miss any of them? The cat, his leash, his food or his bowl, bone, clothes and shoes, bed and pillow. Favorite toy, oh, the last one. The very last one. You were close when you said keys. What else might he take with him if he was gonna run away from home? What is he going to need if he leaves home? The remote? <laughs> the car. Now, that's a good one. Not quite that big. <laughs> Not the phone. You're thinking in the right direction, though. It's a people thing. What else might your dog take with him? The garage door opener. Debit card, that's closer, Becky. It was wallet or money, it was the last one. It's gonna have to buy new food some at some point. So a wallet or money was the last one. 
All right, this necklace, I think it's gonna be easier to show the multi version. So I have this in three versions. It's a longer necklace. This one is called Eloquently Eloquent. This one has metallic or pearly beads, depending on how you want to look at them, in a dark purple, a green, and a navy blue right down here at the bottom. Also has hammered and polished silver beads. This is, try to remember what they call this kind of chain. I think this is a box chain or something close to it box chain in between there so it doesn't have like the little individual links so this one is longer you can see that it goes down quite far on this bust the earrings that come with it are the green beads on a fish hook back this one is the multi version because it has three colors in it the purple the green and the blue i also have red or orange where all the colored beads are the same color and i'll show you those this one goes almost all the way down to the dropped waist. With the two inch extension, you'd be able to bring that into the lower belly area if you'd like to do that. You could also double this one and make it two short strands. This is the orange version. It's a very pretty orange. I have three in orange, four in the multi, and just one in the red. So this one's called Eloquently Eloquent in red, just one, orange, there's three of those, and the multi I have four of. These are going to be number 111. Look, we could almost make a curtain out of it. Jennifer would like the multi. Put Jennifer Y, please, because I've got another Jennifer that's not on tonight. You've got it. And then just send me your email address and a private message, Jennifer. I invoice on Monday and then send out on Tuesday. So whatever you buy from the shows through Sunday night will go all on one invoice so that I only have to ship once. And free shipping on your first order. So you've got it made. This one is Vintage Vanity in pink. This is a hot pink oval bead pressed into an antique looking silver frame. This reminds me of the antique picture frames, doesn't it? It almost looks like you could take that out of there and put a little black and white picture in the center instead of that bead. I have two of these available. The earrings are the hot pink beads as well on a fish hook back. This one's also a longer necklace. It's about half an inch away from that um, dropped waist. I to think of the name. With the two inch extension, it's gonna go down into this lower belly area. Or this has that sliding chain, so it slides through the loop. You could easily fasten it into one of the other chain links up here and shorten it as much as you want or as little as you want. So it would be easy to adjust doing that. You got your pink package today, Shannon. That's great. So this is Vintage Vanity in pink. And we have two of these. It is going to be number 112. Yes, it would show very well on Zoom if you pulled it up. And I just dropped that extra chain down my back. If you don't want to leave it on there, if you're never gonna want to use it as a long necklace, you could take some of that chain length out of there. Um, I leave mine on there just in case I want to wear it longer at some point and then just drop it down the back of my shirt because nobody can see it anyway. Although it tickles just a little bit. I will tell you that. All right, this one I'm gonna pull up just a little bit because it's kind of long for this bust. This one is called Cheeky Tees in blue. So we have a teardrop with bright blue beads pressed into it all around the outside and then a line of beads straight down the center. This is in an antique silver so you can see the blackish areas as well. Kind of a little dot motif 
going around the outside of the frame. The earrings are the silver tassels on a fish hook back. Just have one of this one. Although I do also have it in black and red. But this one just came in in the blue. It is down here at the dropped waist with the two inch extension. It's gonna come down here into the lower belly. So this one, just one in this color. It is Tiki Tees. Tiki Tees in blue. And it is number 113. Yes, sometimes I feel that way too, Helen. And you might not want to put it inside your shirt. If you're going to be on Zoom, nobody's going to see it anyway. I'd just leave it outside your shirt. You also can loop it up and put the ends of the link, the end of the extension, um, back in the fish hook. And that will shorten the length of chain that you have back there. Number 113 to Kimberly. This one, I also only have one of. It's called House Party Posh. Let's see if we can get it. Un Why is it wanting to be fuzzy today? Instagram wants to be fuzzy today. It's not cooperating. This one has little clusters of white pearly beads and polished silver beads hung at intervals along this silver chain. This also would be a good one to double. Let's see if I can get it. There we go, to focus in. So because these are hung at regular intervals, it would be easy to double this one. They're hung off these little silver rings, which are really cute as well. The earrings are the little clusters of the white pearly beads and the silver polished bead on a fish hook back. You wear this full length, it's going to be down at that dropped waist. Two inches will bring it down into the lower belly. This is what it's going to look like. If you double it, you could either wear them at the same length or two layers that are at different heights. So it's going to hang really nicely doubled. So this one is called House Party Posh. Let's see if I can get those clusters in there. House Party Posh in white, and it's number 114. These little cards feel so weird in my hands. I'm so used to having the big ones. Caitlin, don't laugh at me. <laughs> All right. This one is Party Girl Glow, and I've got this in two colors. I have it in this blue, and I have it in a green, which I will also show you. This is a longer necklace as well. It has little transparent crystal-type hearts and beads, as well as some frosted beads. This one's a teardrop in blue. And some silver cage beads. You all know how much I love those silver cage beads and some little white pearly beads as well. White rhinestone at the top of this cluster, and then your silver tassel below it. The earrings are the blue crystal type beads on a fish hook back. This one goes from the upper mid abdomen all the way through this dropped waist with the two inch extension. That's gonna bring that cluster down about here and so all your tassel is going to hang in this lower belly area. I have two in blue and two in green. This is the green version. It's kind of a grassy green, not quite emerald. It's not quite that dark. So these are Party Girl Glow. in blue or in green. Love these little clusters. I do not see 114, um, Kim, but we got it. Thank you. It's only given me about half of your responses. So in blue or in green, these are going to be number 115. I thought you would want that one.
One, two, three, four, five, six. I hate counting these. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, so there's nine possible answers on this one. We're going to go with number seven. It's nine possible answers. There's a lot of different answers on this question. What's something you keep in your car just in case? Something you keep in your car just in case. What do you think? Daisy got it right off the bat. Shoes or clothes? Extra shoes or clothes? Jumper cables was number five. Extra keys were not on there. There should be. I guess it because it says in your car, those would be outside the car usually. A gas can was on there. That was number eight. The spare tire was on there. That was four. Flashlight. I don't see flashlight on there. That should have been on there. There's a flare, not quite the same thing. A blanket, that's a good one, but they didn't put that one on there. They're going to be really cold, aren't they? Food and water was number two. First aid kit was number three. We'll hope it's not in the wintertime. Kleenex is always a good idea, Carol. I lived in Montana. You keep a roll of toilet paper. Forget the Kleenex, just the toilet paper. A whole roll. Mace. I'm looking back at some of these answers that weren't on there, but that one's good. Mace is good. I can't believe they didn't put a flashlight on there. And I don't know what they're prepared for, Becky. Personally, I'd keep a bottle of wine in my trunk. That sounds like a good idea because if something happens, an emergency, just in case, I'm probably going to need the bottle of wine along with whatever it takes to fix it or to contact people. Helen's going to keep some kind of blunt object in there. We know what she's up to. So let's see. A map is on there, which most of us don't use anymore because we have GPS on our phone. But, you know, just in case you are out of a service area, that's probably not a bad idea. Carol says, Anna Free, she must have had a car overheat on her before. Number one was money or coins. Money or coins. Tools was not really on there. The Thomas Guide, is that the, was that the big map book, Daisy? I don't remember what it was called. But what, yeah, we had this. Extra spark plugs. Carol's going to get down and dirty with this in the car. Are you, are you traveling with all the spare parts, Carol? A book. Mine's on my phone, Daisy. I read on my Kindle. So it's, they're all on my phone. All right, so I think we got all the answers. So we know that since they didn't have some of your answers, you guys are extra pre prepared. So I feel really good about your chances in an emergency. You have a really old car, Carol. I've had a number of really old cars in my life. Always breaking down. One thing they didn't have on there, duct tape. Duct tape's always good. Might have a busted radio radiator hose, you know. It won't hold for long, but it'll hold long enough to get you somewhere. All right, this one is called Vixen Conviction. Vixen Conviction. So there are a number of different gauges of chain in this fringe, which makes it more visually interesting because you've got some larger and some smaller mixed in there. And then we have those polished, faceted, teardrop-shaped black beads. So we have a nice black and gold combination. I have three of these. The earrings are those same faceted black teardrop beads on a gold fish hook back. Let's see if I can keep the fringe straight, putting it over her head. So much easier when you're putting it on yourself. This one is about an inch below that collar. Yeah, no, these don't tangle very well, tangle very much, Helen. And you'd think they would with all this chain, 
but it's not long enough to tangle. So about an inch below the collar with the two inch extension, it's gonna be about here to here. So about mid chest to over the bust. They should make all chain this length. That way we'd never tangle anything. So this is Vixen Conviction in gold. Three of these available. Number 116. This next one, I only have one of. If there's a way to tangle it, you would. I do believe in you, Helen. If there was a way to do it, you would figure it out. This one is called Romantic Razzle in silver. It's actually a super dark gray. This is a square moonstone set on point. It has a couple little rhinestones up at the top and that little triangle that holds the moonstone on. So this is a more delicate necklace, probably more like I would have worn before I started paparazzi. The earrings are those same dark gray moonstones in a round bead on a fish hook back. This one hangs about an inch below the collar as well. If you'd like it to hang lower, there's a two inch extension on it. You could bring it down to about the top of the cleavage here. That's about where it's gonna sit. If you don't like the smaller delicate necklaces, this is a great one to layer with some other longer necklaces. So this is Romantic Razzle in silver. And it's number 117. And I'm still fighting with this gnat that's flying around in here. Who gave it permission to be gnat season here already? Isn't that usually later in the summer? I guess it is July already. How did it get to be July? This year is just zipping by. It'll be time for tax returns again soon. That's a good part. All right, this one is called Cinderella Glam. This one is in brass. It's a combination of a more polished brass and an antique brass, which is very dark. So we have metallic beads going from the antique brass, which is the one right above my finger, to a more polished brass, which is this one, and then a little bit in between. They're also different sizes. We also have these little discs that have four hearts. Let me see if I can, there we go. Pull it out there. Four hearts coming together in the center, held on by these two rings. So this is two layers of beads and discs. I have two of these available. The earrings are the more polished brass on an antique brass fish hook back. This one, let's see, that is about two inches below that collar. And you still have some extension here, so that's going to bring it down to sit more on the bust right down here or just above the bust. So this one is Cinderella Glam. I'll try to separate these beads a little bit just so you can see all the different pieces in here. And it is gonna be number 118. Number 119 is a smaller piece that I only have one of. It's in antiqued copper. Helen would like one of 118. This is called Another Love Story in antiqued copper. These are little filigree hearts. The filigree, yes, yeah, she is drinking. She's been in my wine, Ashley. Linda is very unsteady today. I don't know what's going on with her. She's weaving over here, weaving and bobbing. She needs to take up boxing, I think. The filigree is actually made up of little tiny hearts inside those hearts. You might be able to see it better when I put it up against my hand. So the three little hearts and then all the hearts within the hearts. And then the earrings are the same little hearts on an antique copper fish hook back. I think 
I must keep hitting her with my chair somehow. This one is a little over an inch below that collar with the two inch extension, comes down about mid chest or just above the bust. Let's see if you can see these little hearts better. Usually they show up better against my hand. There we go. Hearts made up of little tiny hearts. So this is another love story in copper 119. Caitlin, are you reading while you're doing my show? Shame on her. I'm not keeping her busy enough. That's what it is. Shame. 119 to Daisy. <laughs> All right. This one, why are you making fun of me? It's called tie-dye drama. Tie-dye drama. The official color is multi. This is a pink and white. A little bit of purple in it. It almost reminds me of a little galaxy on this disc. So we're going to call them little galaxy discs with the, the pink and the purple and the white. There's a little bit of yellow on here. And then we have these rippled silver discs it's hanging on a heavy gauge chain. So a larger gauge chain. Look at how shiny those silver discs are. <laughs> the earrings are those silver discs as well. Rippled silver discs. It is. It mostly looks pink, Kimberly. On a fish hook back, I do have three of these available. So this one, at least I'm not stabbing her with pins tonight. This one's about not quite half an inch, really close to half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you're going to be able to bring it down about mid chest, which is going to make the discs hang right through this area. So again, just above the bust, I thought this was a really pretty one. So this is tie dye drama in multi. Three of these available, and it's number one twenty. There you go. All right, let's play some more Family Feud since my mom's laughing at me now. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't know about this. We're going to take answer number four on this question. Kimberly would like one of number 120, so we've got two more of those. Answer number four on this question. Name an occasion for which you might wear your lucky underwear. Yeah, Caitlin's not sure about that. I don't know why we have lucky underwear. I hope you're washing them in between. We'll just we'll just say that, okay? Please don't not wash your lucky underwear. That's not what makes them lucky. So what occasion might you wear your lucky underwear for? A new job, that was number two. Your wedding night was number five. Anniversary was number six. Taking a test, that was whatever the last one is. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Before a big game, you've got it, Kimberly. A sporting event. Surgery. Oh, that's a good one. I think you're supposed to wear clean underwear for that, though. That's what my mom tells me. <laughs> a dance. <laughs> so they don't fall down. Wow. I think you want new underwear for that. If you wear your lucky underwear, the elastic may be a little bit shot in them. You know, it starts to dry rot after a while from you washing it. Might want to get new underwear for the damps to make sure they don't fall down. All right. This one I have just one left of. It is called Vintage Vogue in silver. So these look like little antique pieces. They're kind of frilly or lacy pieces. 
They have the hematite stones in them. So the little gray rhinestones that have sort of a mirrored finish. They're in round and in oval shapes, these little lacy pieces. The earrings are the little round lacy pieces with the hematite stones in the center. This one is about an inch below that collar with the two inch extension. You can bring it down right about here. So at the top of the cleavage type area. So this one is vintage Vogue. It is going to be number 121. This one I also only have one of. Okay, Helen would like 121. This one I also only have one of. This is an asymmetrical necklace. Get some hand sanitizer here. Forever in my heart in silver. So we have a little silver filigree type heart. Kind of looks like a flowery filigree. And then silver pearls going up one side. So they're a very light gray pearly bead going up one side. The earrings are also those silver pearly beads on a fish hook back. This one's was called Forever in My Heart, Caitlin, if you didn't get that. This one, the heart hangs right about the middle of the chest with the two inch extension. You could bring that down to lay around, right around here on the bust, center of the bust. If you wanted a longer version. So this one is going to be number 122. 122. doing over there Caitlin she's stretching now <laughs> Helen says the asymmetrical messes with her OCD it will do that all right this one is called cool cascade in white so we have a silver necklace these are transparent cylinder shaped beads with polished beads above and below in silver. Then we have the silver rings with a white opaque bead in the center of them. I do have two of these. The earrings are a white opaque bead as well on a fish hook back. This one is a longer short necklace, if that makes any sense to you. So it's hanging down here at the top of the bust, and then your beads come down to where they're on the bust with the two inch extension. You'd be able to bring it down here to laying on the bust and the beads would go to below the bust. 122 to mom. So this one is Cool Cascade in white, and it is number 123 two of those available. One twenty four is a very delicate small necklace. So if I can get it to stay up here with the tag pulling it back. This is called Pretty Petite. I just have one of these left. Pretty Petite. So it has a polished silver chain. There's three layers of chain comes down into this V or like a flying bird shape. Daisy wants this one. Yeah, you gotta hurry, Daisy. Has the little white rhinestones in that little V shape. The earrings are the white rhinestones as well on a fish hook back. Yeah, this one was really pretty. I sold all of them except this one. I just found this one. So this one is about a quarter inch below that collar. And then with the two inch extension, you're going to be able to bring it down here. So right in here, if you use the extensions, Daisy. So this one belongs to you. They look like little rhinestone flying birds to me. 
Number 124 belongs to Daisy. <laughs> Ashley says, thank you, Daisy. So apparently she thinks you bought it for her. I'll be sure and not ship that in the same package with hers, okay? You're going to get your own package this week, Daisy, so that Esley can't steal it. You might want to put it up when you get it, though. Esley will sneak into your house in the middle of the night. All right, this one is Divinely Diva in gold. Just have one of these. This one has the gold chain fringe, fringe as well. Gold chain fringe. Let's say that slower. And then it has polished gold beads and also the crystal type gold beads, little tiny ones at the top of the fringe. The earrings are the polished gold beads hanging on a fish hook back. Let's see if we can not mess up the fringe. So this is how this one lays. It's about a half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you can bring it down here and have it lay right over the top of the bust instead. So this one is Divinely Diva in gold. And it's going to be number 125. And with that, we're going to do our last family feud question then we'll do some longer necklaces again, and we will be done. I have one short one, too. One short and four longer ones. All right. This should be an easy enough one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's take answer number four on this one out of eight. Name something you find on a breakfast buffet. Something you find on a breakfast buffet. <laughs> Helen, you're laughing at its interpretation. Sometimes it does better than others. It's not good. Bacon was number two. They did not have grits on here, Helen, and no waffles either. Can you believe that? Who's going to have breakfast without waffles? Omelet bar toast. Juice was number five. Hash browns. There we go. Daisy, you got it again. Hash browns. Esley said nasty food. <laughs> Do you not like breakfast buffets? I used to work at a restaurant that had a breakfast buffet. It smelled so good. We would have it first thing in the morning and um, last thing at night. So like at 11 o'clock at night on Friday and Saturday night. So after people got done partying, they would come in and have their late night breakfast buffet. Now, I worked the morning one when I was pregnant with my first son, and I would come in and smell that bacon and sausage. Does not go well with morning sickness. <laughs> so I much preferred the late night one. I was not pregnant at that time. Coffee was on there. Coffee was number six. That's a good one. So we had eggs, of course, are going to be number one. It didn't have fruits. It did have melon. Melon was number seven. So we had eggs, bacon, sausage, the hash browns or potatoes, juice, coffee, melon, and cereal. They did not have pancakes. They did not have waffles. I don't know what the world is coming to. With that, this is Cosmic Getaway. In red, I just have one of these. These are some dark red opaque beads. And then we've got kind of a cherry red faceted teardrop. That's as close as I can get to it. It's a fat teardrop. And also some crystal type beads on here with some polished silver mixed in. The earrings are the dark red round opaque beads on a fish hook back. This is the length of this one. It is an asymmetrical necklace, so don't let it drive you crazy. It's about an inch and a quarter below that. Neckline, bye Helen. With two inch extension, it's gonna sit down here over the bust area. Tell Justice to have a good night at work. 
So this is the up close. This is called Cosmic Getaway. In red, just one of these available. It's number 126. All right, let's do some more long ones. By the way, we are in the process of upgrading the website. So hopefully soon we will get you the new website. It will still be at the same address, but it's going to look different. So we're doing some work on that. In the meantime, you can still visit. And um, the old version is still up until we get the new version completely going. This one is called Desert Equinox in red. I have two of these. This is the red crackle stone, a round red crackle stone in kind of a twisted rope frame. Kind of looks like a compass to me with the little knobs out on the end. The earrings are round red crackle beads as well on a fish hook back. This one hangs down below that dropped waist. So with the two inch extension, it's gonna hang even further into that lower belly area. You do have a nice big loop at the top of here. So you could double this chain where it is a double chain up here. So this one is Desert Equinox in red. Two of those available and it's number 127. One twenty-eight is called New Girl in Town. New Girl in Town. These are a pretty pastel green pearly bead on two lengths of chain each. So there's two layers, but each layer is two lengths of chain each. Has some silver ovals connecting these pieces of chain. The earrings are the pale green pearly beads as well on a fish hook back. I have four of this necklace. Reminds me of the color of key lime pie. That's what it reminds me of. So that makes me hungry. It hangs down here in the lower abdomen down to the dropped waist with the two inch extension. It's going to go down here into the lower belly. So this one is called new girl in town. And it is in green. It is number 128. Number 129, I had to bring out because it reminds me of the convention. So this is a longer necklace as well. This is called Faith Makes All Things Possible. So we have a hammered disc in the center that says faith along the bottom of it, two delicate silver rings and a pretty beaded tassel on the bottom. This is that beaded chain. So you have little tiny beads along this chain. The earrings are the delicate silver hoops as well on a fish hook back. This one hangs from mid abdomen down through lower abdomen. With the two inch extension, you're going to be able to bring that tassel down in the lower belly area. So this one, I'm just going to call it the faith necklace. Faith makes all things possible. In silver, just one of these, number 129. And last but not least, let me get this one straight in the tag so that it hangs right. Last but not least, own free quill. Own free quill in silver. 129 to Kimberly. So these are two silver feathers. Very nice detail in the feathers. And then our top smaller feather is encrusted with those hematite rhinestones. They are the mirrored ones. So the smaller feather is sparkly. Our earrings are the hematite stones in the silver frames 
and on a fish hook back. This is the length. So it's hanging in this lower abdomen area with the two inch extension. It's gonna come down about here in the lower belly. So this one is own free quill. It's one of these available. It is in silver and it is number 130. All right, so that is all for tonight. Did you spin the wheel? Spin the wheel, Caitlin. Spin. Marjorie, you are today's winner. Marjorie is the winner of a free piece today. Let me put your name down. What number is the big red stone necklace? Which number was that, Caitlin? 126, she says. Don't quote me on it. <laughs> she says don't quote her on it. But uh, she says number 126. No, nope, not that one. See, I told you not, not to that one. On not it. that one. <laughs> you mean the one that looks like a compass, right, Kimberly? The long one? Oh. That 127. one. 127 was the one that looks like a compass. <laughs> okay. So we're working on the new website design for you. Hopefully, she wants to see that one again. Let me have that one. Hopefully we will get that up for you soon. It's going to make it a little bit easier to find things. It's going to look a little bit nicer. So we'll get that done as fast as we can. This is the one that was 127. Kimberly. Thank you all so much for joining us this afternoon, and we will be back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So kind of a midday or morning show, depending on where you live. Not that one. Okay, she did mean the other one. Ha. Okay. That was this one. That was 126. Is that the one you mean? It's 126. All right. So hopefully we'll see you back tomorrow. And if not, we'll see you on Friday night at five o'clock again. So same time as today. And we'll have some more new things for you because I'm getting deliveries tomorrow and Friday. So I look forward to it. You all have a nice night. Okay. I see you, Kimberly. 126 for Kimberly. Good night, everyone.